Hey, it's official. I must be either blowing up on YouTube or just making that good of videos or God is great. But any one of those options I'm taking right now, guys, I think I finally have found something that is going to replace my hide and drink. You guys know I've been carrying this every day to work. I love it. It's my go to. But we officially have a sponsor for the channel and I want to introduce the E 4.0. This is from tactical geek all right this company reached out to me and they said hey preston we really like the videos we really like your personality we like how you go over everything and you just keep it real and be yourself and we want to sponsor your channel we want to send you an everyday carry pocket pouch let you try it fill it up see what you like about it tell us what you don't like about it and we're going to also give a discount code to you. Now, first time buyers, you're going to get 15% right out the door. I'm working to get a code for maybe even more. Also, they don't just make these. They make backpacks. They make knives. They make a lot of cool stuff. And it's not cheap, crappy stuff. Like, it's a lot of quality, a lot of thought behind it. They're factory workers over there in China. They're all adults. They have their story. You can go look at the bio on the link. And these guys really keep it real and they tell you the aura of their story they've been doing it for a long time and they do charity work so i think it's one to two percent of every dollar or whatever is spent with them they also do it for strays and animals like shelters and stuff so i'm a big animal person you know simon the cat kiba the husky robbie the pit charlie the i don't know what you'd call him courage cowardly dog <laughs> well I'm a big animal lover and these people support animals and they love animals and they donate to animals, homeless animals at that. So got to support people like that. And not only are they sponsoring this video, but the link will always be in my channel because I'm officially endorsing them like they're endorsing me and I plan on buying multiple products from them and reviewing it. So I'm going to tell you right now, if you like leather canvas, I think Hide and drink is the way to go with the Y2K zipper. You guys know I'm a big fan of this, but I do think it's not for everyone. And I'm sorry, you know, burping, listen, it's pressing, we're unplugged. I'm not scripting this. I'm not uh, sitting here rehearsing nothing. I'm just going right off the head and we're going right for it, right? Because I want to give you honest reviews. So, man, that coffee's hitting this morning. I love, I love this. It, it's really great. They didn't sponsor me, but you know what? It was 15 bucks and I decided, hey... I'll give it a try, and I really love it. This was actually recommended by Zach in the Wild. So shout out to Zach in the Wild. And this, on the other hand, is what I would say the big brother. I'd say this is the next level. Now, this isn't hide and drink. We'll put that to the side. This is from Tactical Geek. And I'm going to tell you right now, this is probably a little better than the hide and drink. I'm just going to go out on a limb, and I'm going to say it. Uh... You have real, two really nice zippers. You have a zipper to open it, and you have a zipper for the front for little stuff, bandages. I love how they have Velcroed. So to start this off, Blade HQ sent me this. Shout out to Blade HQ. I just did the Dessert Warrior review and the 945 Osborne from Benchmade. And they sent me this, and it's really cool because, you know, Trump just won. Shout out to the Trump. And it says, presidents are temporary, knives are every day. So what I like about this organizer over the hide and drink is you have a lot of Velcro options. So you can really customize this the way you want. Now I have stuffed this thing. It is completely full and I'm going to show you. Then I'm going to break down my hide and drink organizer, put everything in here and just show you guys really what this thing is. And so we're going to start with putting one of our Velcros on. Oh yeah. And now we got a little style point. So I think before we start, I want to say that I'm going to most likely make this a medic. Uh, I'm still going to keep my hide and drink because I like the open style with the paracord for work. It's my call heart pocket jacket. Always going to keep that. But this is going, I, I think I'm going to buy another one as well. But this is going to be my medical supplies. Like if you guys know, I cut myself really bad two, three weeks ago with the Spider Co. And I had work the next day and I was really scared I was going to have to get stitches because, you know, I didn't have health insurance. And I remember when I cut myself sitting there thinking, oh my God, like, I don't know what to do. I didn't have liquid bandage. I didn't have band-aids. I didn't have anything. Thank God my, my mom and girlfriend were here. My girlfriend went to CVS. Shout out to my baby Tori. 
And she went and got me liquid bandage and band-aids and stuff. And my mom was like, listen, gave me a rag and was like, hold, squeeze it and hold it on top of your head. I was able to get to it fast enough to heal it pretty quick. Thank God. Uh, but it made me feel like, wow, next time I get a cut or a burn or a bruise, I want to be able to have a bag dedicated to it. So that's what this is going to be. But they have a really nice book bag that I'm going to buy from them as well. And I'll probably have two or three of these. They also have smaller size. So if you like a, if you can see, it's a little bigger. So this would be good for still like your call heart jacket, uh, depending on how much. Or you could just throw this in your truck, throw this in your car, throw this in your book bag. And you're going to be great. There's also a, a couple other ones they have like smaller wallet style with Velcro. If you just want to like EDC, like a basic setup, like your folder, your, your light and your pen, you could do that as well. And we're going to go over everything in here. So I strapped this thing up. So what you'll see on the side is a tightener for, first you have two zippers, which have this really nice, I don't know if you guys can see it, really nice uh, heat shrink on it. Not, it feels really good, really, really nice to open and close. You also have this elastic cord. Now, I think this is more for style points, to be honest, but I do like when companies do stuff like this because say if you were ever in the wilderness or survival, you cut yourself, you could use this as a tourniquet, you could use this as an extra shoelace for your boot. Maybe you're, maybe you're on a hike and you're up a super large mountain and you're not around anything. It's always good to have some extra string that you could just take off and throw. You guys know I wear a paracord bracelet almost every day because of that, you just never know so then they got these cool little pockets now i put some liquid bandage in here and as you can see i'm gonna fight a little bit to get them out because i i loaded this up last night i made a video i was really tired i didn't like the video i'm like you know what i'm not gonna do tactical geek like that let me have a little bit of more energy so i decided to do this in the morning but you see you can put something in there i would keep this for like band-aids and little stuff Super grab, but let's open it up. And this is where the beauty comes. Now, this thing is stuffed, so I don't know if it's going to pop out. But I'm going to tell you right now, you can stuff this thing way more than that, and it closes a lot easier. Woo! Look at that. Now, that is what I call organizing, right? I love that. Now, obviously, for the video, I honestly just went all, all out, and I just started stuffing things and seeing what I could get. So now we're gonna take everything out and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I put in here. So, little Cabela's knife. We have our Civivi. We have our Orterio 2. All right. We have a little Cabela's light. We have our Nebo Torchy 300. We have an extension for 3 8 3 8 ratchet. Now, obviously, this is not how I would actually carry it. I'm way more different. I would want a lot more thought put into this. I didn't put a lot of thought in this. I just stuffed it and seen what could I do? What could I get away with? 10 millimeter socket. For shits and giggles, I put the Manic. The Manic that cut me and we fell in love together. This guy. Uh, yeah. Put that in there because it's a pretty large knife and I just wanted to see how would that fit. Fit great. Got me a little, little wrench. All right. And then I put a little snip, a little cutter. So now we got it empty and you can really get an idea of what it looks like. Okay. So first we have a little nylon holder, which is nice if you wanted to hang something in here. You're going to get this big pouch on the inside pocket pouch. You're also going to get, what I like about this is you're going to get a lot of molly webbing, okay? It's in 500D nylon, lots of molly webbing, lots of storage, lots of room, really good thought put behind this. And I'm going to show you guys why when we start stuffing it and I show you how it unfolds and packs. But uh, you get Velcro here, so you could always take more patches and just decorate whatever you want. Or if there was some type of, maybe, uh, maybe this is your medical bag and you have something that is like your address, your health conditions, any any information for a paramedic or something, you could laminate it, get a little uh, two-sided Velcro tape, stick it onto the back of it and stick it on here. And when somebody opens it, you say my bag. And what I'm gonna do is put a little medical badge here instead of this. 
And it's just a quick way to know if somebody has maybe diabetes, maybe they have a prosthetic leg, whatever, right? I know that sounds extreme, but you can really go to neck and back with this. It's very tactical. So then what I really like is they have this Molly webbing, but if you see, they have a big slot and then little slots. So it's almost endless. So you could stick something in the pocket, then something in the, the webbing, and then another slot. So for example, you could be like, how would we wanna do this? Maybe we say, we're gonna put the arc field in here, stick that in there, then we'll come and maybe we'll try with this with the manic. The manic's gonna be a heavy guy, so we'll put that back. We'll just do something like, yeah, we'll do something like the bench made, right? And could stick the bench made right there on top, but then we could come back with a little light, because remember this stuff is flexible. You get right in there, and now look, we got we got our arc field right back there our bench made and our light. Okay. So you can really, really, really get creative. Like I said, they have a nice big bag. I think it's like $170, which is fairly priced. They do have some expensive stuff. They do have some affordable stuff. Okay. This company is out here. I think giving the best bang for buck. They also have smaller wallets and stuff and you're going to get a discount guys. And let me tell you, anyone of you guys that go out and buy this, with my link. I really appreciate it. Listen, I'm not going to get an affiliate link. I'm not going to get paid or a commission for selling these. Okay. But I do want you guys, if you want to go out and give this bag a try, I will never tell you to buy anything, but if you're going to, if you like this video and you think that you want to consider it, I say, go for it. It feels really good. You're going to get 15% off right out the door. Uh, you know, they are in China, so it might take a little longer. I got mine in less than a week. So they said, Hey, 10 to 14 days. I got it in five days, I think. So it was not long at all. And, you know, the more that these sell, I'm going to tell you right now, the more they're going to want to work with us and do collabs. They, they sell some really good titanium folder knives. They have uh, S30V. I've seen some really good stuff on there that was actually kind of mind-blowing. I did not think that this company was really swinging through the fence like that, but they are. And this is a really nice bag. I opted for the OD green. You could always go with the black. I like the green. It's the tactical guy in me. So like I said, you can really go hard. It has this cool pocket. I was showing my girlfriend last night. You could take your survival Altoids case and slide it right in there. Hold on, let me fold this back. Fold it right in there and it fits perfect. Okay, maybe you don't have a lot of slots for some of this and you want to keep it simple. Maybe you're just one of those guys that wants to do that. Like the thing is, you can get creative, guys. You can get creative. Nothing has to be nothing has to be extremely complicated with these bags. It's very minimalistic, which I like a lot. Like I like the stuff a lot of my organizers and the reason why is because like I rather have the tool and never need it than need the tool and not have it. You know, Zach in the Wild always says bring what you need, use what you need, right? I, I think i rather have more stuff than less stuff because when a problem happens, I'm so worried of not being able to solve it and that stresses me out and gives me anxiety. So if I have the right tool, even if I necessarily don't have to use it, I'm okay with that because guess what? I have the tool and that means more to me. So then we can put our arc field in there, come right in here with the bug out, come in here with our nice light. Like I said, we can get creative with this, guys. You don't have to sit back and uh, play stupid. Also, they put Molly Webbin right in the corner. So check this out. You got your Olight Bolt Action Mini, right? This is an awesome little pen. Well, look, you can just slide it right in there and it fits perfect. And this will shut, no problem, with it in there. No problem. And what I like is, say you put something bigger in it, right? Like, say I take the arc field out. And I want to put a ratchet. Now, obviously, I wouldn't do it like this. But say I put something like that. And it's a little too tall for it. Well, the way they've designed it is they've de designed it with this extra stitching, right? Now, I don't. I, I want to say that this can't be a coincidence and it just happened. They've had to really put some thought and time in this. Because if you look, and it's hard for me to tell looking through the camera. But if you look, they try to get everything lined up. So then, like with this, right? 
you know how tall it is, right? You know how tall it is. But the beauty is they double, like, they, it's like they double stitched it. So in reality, you can still fold over it. It'll still give you that extra fold. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but it kind of blew my mind. It, it, it gives you this extra fold. So you don't think it's going to fit, right? But look, look at this, okay? And you see when I first opened it, it had it in there. So you can go in there and look, it's going to go right over it. You see that? It's going to go right over it because the way they designed it is to be able to overpack it. So something was taller than the dimensions, but the way that they stitched it, it can still go in there. That is amazing. Like with this, I can't overextend anything. I can't put something in there and be like, oh, there's not enough room. I'll make it fit. No, it's done. It can only fit so much. But with this, I can actually get way more creative and be like, you know what? This is what I need. This is what I want. So, you know, I'm going to put this in. And you know what? I'm going to throw this in too because why not? And you know what? I think I'm even going to put this in here. Whoa, that's a little extreme, Preston. I, how's it going to close? I mean, look at it. Well, let's see. How did they design it? Look at that. Right over it. No problem. And then they double zippered it. So if you get into a pickle where you it's a little too overstuffed, all you got to do is take half of the load on one side of the zipper and take the other load on the other side. And right like that. Now, now you're for sure good, right? This is awesome. This is like... This is what I say about everyday carry. This is very important for a minimalistic everyday carry bag. I think that's really sick. And then like slide it open right there. Take the load, like I said, and bam, you're strapped up. Look at all that. Now, if you do electricity, uh, none of this stuff is really, I think with the fabric, nothing is really going to be like arc or anything like it's it's definitely going to be good and anything you can throw this in anything and anything in the field you have it for a little construction bag you have it for a little plumbing a little electric maybe where you work at you need an, a ratchet and you need all your fittings and you don't want to carry the bag they supply you so you take this right you can get so creative with this me i'm a tanker driver i drive a truck with a propane tank and so for me the number one tool i need is a light okay because i'm doing it two in the morning sometimes you need a light all right, but then I need a uh, I need a multi tool, right? I need a multi tool. So I have this setup, but there's a lot of stuff that I need. And then to be real, uh, how much am I at? Right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I slammed my finger three in the morning on the propane. I was I was filling it up, and when I went to shut it, it was the first time I ever did it. It locked in, and even with the glove on, it bruised it. So. That would have been nice. I had a Band-Aid, thank God, because I have stuffed this one with stuff. But this is starting to get so big and bulky because I'm overcompensating. I'm putting too much in here for lack of what I have. But with this, this lets me say, oh, I've already tried it. It fits in my Call Heart jacket pocket, okay? So, look, we'll shut it. Just so you guys know, I'm not bullshitting. Now, this might be a little overstuffed, so this could fight the Call Heart pocket just a little bit. But I don't think it will. And see, this is not how you want to do it. See, see, you run into that problem. So what you do, zip it out, zip it out, and then jump over it. Hold on. I got it messed up. Zip it out, jump over it, and then allow the other zipper to come up. But you always want to do it on the sides. You never want the top. Let's just fold it a little under. Yeah. Simple. Very easy to use. Love it. So then for me, this is the kind of jacket, this is the kind of jacket that I use. I use a Cole Hart. It's not a Detroit style. It's pretty much a Detroit with a hood instead of a collar. And this is the pocket that I use, okay? People say this is too big. Well, if you look, the Cole Hart pocket is pretty big. So I can slide this right in there. And this is why this will always be my go-to because then if I got to grab in my coat and just pull it out, you know, pull it out. I could get whatever I need out of it, all right? But you can also use this as well. It's, it's gonna be tighter, right? But how much are you packing these things out is what you have to understand, right? So look at that, slides right in. Now, is it super big? Yes, yes, like most people aren't gonna wanna wear this, all right? But this is what I'm trying to tell you guys is 
you can carry anything you want. You've seen how big it was. You could carry everything. Most of you guys are going to realistically carry a knife, a pen, and a flashlight. And that's pretty much 95% of the stuff you need. Maybe carry a little multi-tool. But my call heart has two pockets. All right. This is zipper one. Now, this one's a little harder, but I can get it right in there as well. So as you can see, I could technically have both of these on here. I could carry more tools. Now, I pack this out a lot. All I have to do is downsize it a little bit, which I would, right? And now I have two of these on me, right? Maybe this is my medical supplies. Maybe this is my... Like my first aid and this is my work stuff you could switch it up and that's what i really like about this bag is it's a little bigger than the hide and drink but just look at it you're getting so much more of a bag and with the zippers and the way they've made it i think it's really cool but if you're like me what you're thinking of is you're thinking well, I want to get access to it because I want to be able to pull, 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 pull right out the jacket and go, you know, right out the jacket and go, slide it back, slide it right back in there. We're good to go. Cool. With this, this could be something that you maybe you don't, you need right off the jump because a lot of times I'm one handing something and I need to be able to pull it out and use it just like I'm buying the, the uh, Leatherman Arc because of the one hand motion because I got something in my hand I don't have time to take it and fold it open that's why I don't really carry my buck knife a lot because I have to two hand it instead of one hand it okay but with this this is where I can get creative and this is where I can sit here and really say what do I want to do what 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 customization can I do? And I think this is really great. So for me, this screamed medical. This screamed medical bag right here. This this screamed fire starter, lighter, whistle, uh, bandages, triple biotic, Advil, everything. This just I have unlimited access at my job to the good medical supplies, and they say, listen. Guy comes every week and refills it. Take anything you want. So he said that to the wrong guy because <laughs> this thing's going to be stuffed with medical supplies. And I'm going to get a really cool badge for it and take this and put this on something else. But I just wanted to show you guys why I think this is my next, my next thing. And also, I really do think it's a really good product. And I like the people. I like that, you know, they support animals and they, they give back and, you know, they seem like they're wholesome people. Listen, they might be in China, but they're just, they have that American pride in them. They're the same way. They, they, they're hardworking people that show up every day and give a lot of love and thought into their products. And that's what means the most to me. Listen, you're going to hear me all day long talk about America, America, America. Listen, I'm an American man and they'll always be what I go for as American products. But when I do dibble dabble into some China products or Taiwan products that are still good out there. Do not think they're not. They are. And that's the reason why they're the leaders in the world of manufacturing, right? Uh, I look for who are they? What do they stand for? What's their company about? What kind of people do they represent? And these are hardworking people. And for that, they will have me as a lifetime customer. And I'm going to keep their link forever in my bio, okay? So I do want you guys to check it out. Go pick one up. You're going to get 15% off of your first purchase or the whole cart if i'm not mistaken go check out some of their other stuff maybe this is a little too big for you right well go check out one of their smaller setups they have little nice wallets that you can put a knife a light a pen some velcro in it right or they have a bigger book bag they have a lot of options i think this is my new obsession and this is my pride and joy and the transition is nice it's nice to have that rugged call heart denim canvas leather style and it's also cool to have a badass tactical nato you know molly webbing velcro style it's best of both worlds so really it's just what do you like and i look forward to doing more products with them and you know thank you to tactical geek please go check out their page see if you like something use my link like i said i don't get paid for any of it it's just i'm supporting companies that support me and that's the point of this channel because the more that <clears throat> the more that i can do videos 
and buy products and review them, the less headache you guys have to go through, the less money you guys have to spend, and you really get to know what you're getting. And when companies like this that are really cool, that are really niche oriented, like EDC, like that's what they stand for pretty much their EDC website. And it's really cool to see people think outside of the box, make their own style stuff. And then when they want to say, hey, we're, we'll, we'll sponsor you, we'll give you something, and maybe we'll do future business, that makes me excited for the future because, hey, maybe, guys, they'll make, they have other products, maybe they'll send us other stuff and we can review, and maybe I can get bigger discounts for you guys. So all in all, you guys just save money, right? And then down the road, who knows, maybe we'll collab on something because I am looking to make a product for you guys at some point. Not now, maybe not 2025, maybe not 2026, shit, maybe next month, I don't know. But I'm looking for companies like Tactical Geek to work with that I can design a product and have somebody that can create it, that puts the love and puts the hard work into it, and I can get it for a really uh, affordable price for you guys, and then, you know, sell it to you guys, and not make a crazy product, but our profit, just make a cool product that you guys will love, enjoy, and build it up like that, and then maybe down the road, we launch our own EDC website, because I've been doing this every day, remember, presidents are temporary, but knives are every day, I've been really doing this every day, and if you go look at my YouTube shorts, you're going to see nothing but my animals, and me carrying these tools and being in the field. So I love you guys. Have a great day. God bless you and your family. Once again, shout out to Tactical Geek. 15% off your first order. Please go hit the link in the bio. Check them out. You will not be mad. I promise you. Till next time. Peace.